Hello, YouTube friends. It's Johnny, the PEI EV guy. Thanks for tuning back into my channel. So for today's vlog, we're headed over to Shadyac, New Brunswick, the mainland, yay, for an electric vehicle barbecue and event hosted by our good friends from the Electric Vehicle Association of Atlanta, Canada, or EVAC. And while we're at the event, uh, we're going to do some socially distanced socializing. That sounds weird. Uh, get to meet uh, and talk with several of the founding members of EVAC. We'll talk to some of the other electric vehicle owners and enthusiasts over there. Um, hopefully we'll get to see a great variety of electric cars. There's way more variety in New Brunswick and Nova Scotia than there is on, in Prince Edward Island. Uh, we'll get to, I'm sure we'll get to see some cool Teslas and Chev, the Chevy Bolt and maybe some exotic stuff like Audi e-tron or the Jaguar R-Pace. And for an added twist, I'm going to see if I can get over to the mainland and back without using the Tesla supercharger. And here, I'll show you why. So here's the deal. I've got the car charged up to 100% here, which would give me, let's see how many kilometers of range that would estimate. Yeah, saying 370 kilometers of range, no problem. But to get to Parley Beach and back, I'll just hit this, that's close enough. Yeah, it says it's 125 kilometers. So I'm going to get there, estimated to get there with 55% with battery. So I shouldn't have to waste time heading down here to the Tesla supercharger to get the juice. I know that there's a couple of chargers up in this area thanks to PlugShare. So I'm going to see if I can plug in there and instead of wasting my time and going down to the supercharger. If I can't charge anywhere up here, I know for a fact that there's the flow charger in Border Carlton, and I can just charge on level two there. And since I don't want to go down to Allock to use the Tesla supercharger, and I don't have the Tesla Chatamo uh, adapter to charge on uh, 50 kilowatts, I'm going to be stuck charging on level two. So hopefully I'll be able to use one of the two chargers in the Shadiac Parlay campground area or I'll have to hit one of the flow chargers on the way back. Otherwise, it's going to be close getting this car back home. But I'll assess it again when I get up there. Since the car is all charged up, ready to go, I just need to get myself ready, grab a beverage for the road, and we'll skedaddle. Okay, quick update here for you here while I'm in line for my COVID-19 screening. I uh, just came across the Confederation Bridge. There she is right there. We're about halfway to my destination. And as you, as you can see here, the car says I still have 274 kilometers total range. That's obviously we can't trust that. Let's look at our trip meter. We're about halfway through there. And it says I'm going to arrive at my destination with 45%. That obviously means that I need to charge somewhere else. But I should have enough juice to get us back to the other side of the bridge in Border Carlton. Excuse me while I'm moving here. Should be enough to get us back to Border Carlton if I can't charge up there. I'll update once again once I get to Shadiac. Hopefully this uh, COVID screening doesn't time me up for too long. Okay, we've made it. As you can see, I've got 198 kilometers left of range there. I've already inputted my uh, return trip into the GPS. It says it'll take two hours and 159 kilometers to get there. And our trip energy says that I'll, I would end up coming back with uh, only 7%. So that's a little tight for me. I'm going to have to find a place to charge. In the meantime, we'll go talk to some other EV owners and enthusiasts and check out some of these awesome EVs. I even think I saw a performance Model 3. Have to see if I can get a launch if that's the case. Let's go. So I've been here about a 45 minutes or so, chatted with some friends, had a hot dog. Uh, so far we have eight electric vehicles here. Let's uh, check it out. 
All right, so there's my Model 3. We have a red Model 3, Chevy Volt. Another Model 3, Nissan Leaf, pretty cool. Older Model S, which is awesome. And over here, we have not one, but two Model Xs. Still waiting on the appearance of a performance model, though. Fingers crossed. Hey, so, so I'm back home now. Let me explain what happened there. So mid-afternoon uh, at the event, I was talking to some, some new friends, also from Prince Edward Island, ironically enough, and who had mentioned that they had never been in a ride in a Model 3. So naturally, I offered a quick ride in Darth Vader, and we hopped in, went for a little 20-minute jaunt uh, just in the neighborhood. And by the time we got back, most of the people at the event had taken off to the beach. We heard that from other people. So we stayed there and just talked to the other people for a bit, and then we drove up to the beach, parked the car, and there was a good amount of people at, at uh, Parley Beach, and we couldn't find them, so we just went to the restaurant and uh, messaged them, and then they got back to us, and everybody caught up with us at the restaurant, had a couple of drinks, had a meal. Uh, by that time, it was 6 p.m., and I decided to come back home to, to, uh, to east of Charlottetown. So that's my bad. I meant to show you more of the event. Um, it didn't get much bigger. There was maybe a couple more uh, cars that showed up. That Performance Model 3 it never, didn't show up. Very sad for me. Maybe next time. Car now. I plugged it into a level 2 here at Parley Beach in New Brunswick. I was getting about 30 amps. Oops. There you go. Says I got 261 kilometers. It's 220 to home. So that's great. Lots of good juice. So we just got back over the bridge, officially back in Prince Edward Island. Just waiting in line for my COVID-19 screening. Let's check the stats here. GOM says I got 151 kilometers of range. The trip estimation says get home with 19%. That's plenty. Awesome stuff. Love this car. All in all, we still had a fun day. Got a, It's always a good day to drive the Model 3 over to New Brunswick and back. Got to hang out with some of our friends from EVAC that I haven't seen in person in a while, thanks to COVID. And um, other than that, I met some new people and had a great day. So that's all for me for today. Thank you much for watching this video. Thank you very much for hitting that like button and the subscribe button. I really appreciate every single one of you that takes the time to do that. And with that, I will say, see you later.